Does this look familiar? I'm on Redbubble. I typed in funny t-shirts and I get back 8.5 million results. I look at New York. New York has 300,000 results. Valentine's Day, 73,000 results. How are you ever supposed to make any sales when it's just nonstop competition? Well, in this video, I've actually got a free option you can use. It's completely free and you can sign up and get emails and you can also use tools that'll help you get actual trending designs and it's great for brainstorming ideas for niches as well. Let's jump in and do some niche marketing right now. Okay, let's take a look at the free option here. This is insightfactory.app. I'm gonna put a link in the video description below and they have Redbubble trends at the top, Merch by Amazon Trends and an Etsy keyword research tool and Etsy trends. Now you can get full access and you can do like a paid subscription but let's just take a look at the free one here. So I'm just gonna click this red bubble trends button here. We'll see what comes up. And now we can see here the actual today's trends. You'll see you have to register and sign up for a premium account in order to get like every single trend, but it does show you a few of them. So don't despair if you see a few are blocked out. There's a few in here. And then you can also click on the red bubble popular tags along the right, left hand side. And you can see there's popular keywords and you can also search over on the right. So there's a bunch of pages down at the bottom. Like I could click page five, for example, and it comes up. Now, if I click the search button over on the right and I type in a phrase, you'll see it starts to close in on the different search terms. So here's funny Christmas, funny bumper, funny quotes, and so on. The next feature that I'd like to show is Etsy trends. So it's over on the right hand side. Again, I'm not even logged in. I'm just clicking on Etsy trends and we're going to see categories at the top. If we leave it to all and I scroll on down, I'm going to see basically what's selling on Etsy. So this is pop socket sticker and there's 34 listings on the first page that had sales out of 1.7 thousand competition. If I scroll to the next one, you'll see press on nails, 33 listings, had sales out of 1400 listings. And as you scroll on down, you're going to see certain ones that may fit in your print on demand theme. You could also flip over and you can see digital products. So at the very top, I've just changed and I can see now in high demand right now, it's giving me the total competition and also the total listings that are giving me back any sort of sales. So this is a really nice feature and there are multiple pages here. There's actually 5,300 pages. So this is kind of nice. You can scroll through and you can see, you know, it's good for two reasons. One, you can scroll through and you can do brainstorming. So you can just kind of look and go, oh, I haven't thought about making that sort of a design or that sort of niche. And the other one is it actually gives you some sales data in such a way that you don't need to peruse through every single listing in Etsy. So that's kind of cool. A completely different tool is over on the left hand side. There's shirt niches and hoodie niches. I'm going to click on shirt niches and we can see similar to what we saw just a couple seconds ago. There's Galentine's Day, 52 sales on the first page and then 6.2 thousand competition. I can click on hoodie niches and we can see as well similar. Now again, not every one of these is going to be specifically for print on demand, but you can scroll through. There's 328 pages here. So you can scroll through and see if there's ID is where you've actually got some proof of somebody actually making sales. One of the coolest tools is this Merch by Amazon Trends button. When I click on that, it's going to give me three options today. And if I want more, if I click the load more button, it is gonna ask me to register. Now you could register and you can sign up for free and it may show you more, but right now it's just showing me three. I'm not even logged in. And if I click on the details here, which is pretty nice, it says it's in high demand, shows me the best seller rank. But let's say I wanna click on the details of the one in the middle. When I click on the details, it actually throws me through right to amazon.com and it shows me the actual list Listing. And what I like about this is it will show me how the actual text is laid out for the title and for the description. So if you're struggling to write Merch by Amazon titles and descriptions, this is a great opportunity for you to get some inspiration from real life designs that may be actually making some real sales. If you do sign up and it's completely free to sign up, uh, I do want to point out that you can get an email occasionally from Insight Factory where they actually give you trends right in an email form and they're usually three or four in high demand product ideas. And then you can click on the links and it'll actually take you to where this is listing and selling. So this is great if you're looking to brainstorm and you're looking for new ideas for print on demand. I sure hope you found this walkthrough of Insight Factory helpful. And here's another video so you can supercharge your print on demand journey. Thanks a lot for watching.